Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we would be doing the most important part for our testing, that is taking the screenshot. How can we ensure that whatever testing that has been done is proper or we were correct when we said that yes, the test case is either failed or passed. For this purpose, we can even take a screenshot in our Selenium web driver. You could have been able to recall a manual experience when you were taking a screenshot for the purpose of making sure that yes, this test case has been passed or failed on whatever condition or you know parameters you were given. Now, here you create a class or a function in which you can simply capture the screenshot. Now, why do you need a screenshot? Basically, we need a screenshot for the purpose of better analysis and the, for the purpose of logs. We need to make sure that yes, these logs have been you know generated whenever we were mentioning about the uh, about whenever we are mentioning about the test case passing or failing. So we need to capture screenshots at the runtime to have better analysis in reports and we can have better logs and better analysis of the results or trends. So what all packages we need to import when we are creating or capturing the screenshot? We need the java.io.file functionality and the org.apache.commons.io.file util. How are we doing it is First of all, we first of all we would be having the driver which would be capturing the screenshot and would be saving in a file. And then we would be saving the file to the position or to the location that we have mentioned. Now let's see it. I am taking a file, I have named the file as screenshot. And I am passing the driver which is the which is calling it, which is calling the take screenshot and get screenshot as like how I want to get the screenshot. I am getting it as output type dot file. Now I am using the file utils, uh, you know, file util capability of the Apache class. I am actually copying the file, this screenshot to a new file that I've created and it is created at this location. That is B, uh, then, the, then, the, then the slash, then the name of the screenshot. That is screenshot one dot jpg. Now, you can even have a dynamic name since it's a string being passed over here. Whatever is the name of the class, you can use that to mention your name. So now this was all about for capturing screenshot. Let's quickly go to our Eclipse and see are we actually able to capture the screenshot or not. Hello guys, uh, welcome back again. Now we would be taking uh, on the most important part that is, you know, how do we actually capture a screenshot for a particular page, right? Now, why do we need to take screenshots? Uh, you know, say like uh, I'm running or executing a particular page and I want to check that, you know, what all errors are on there or are there on the page. If in case the test has failed, then also in such cases, we actually, you know, uh, work on or we actually try and, you know, take screenshots if in case the uh, execution has failed or the test case has given a failure right nevertheless you can even use uh, your screenshot functionality even if the test case has passed just for the purpose of records right so what I do is I have created a new project as capture screenshot demo project in this project into the source folder I would be creating a new package first of all I name this package in the source folder as screenshot.demo I click on finish. So into the new package, I create a new class and I name this class as screen short demo. Obviously I want the main method because that is where my execution would be working upon. So herein, now what would be my first task or what the first step for me should be that I need to set the property. So what property I need to set is webdriver dot geeko dot driver. Here I pass where I have you know placed my geeko driver. So it's obviously since it is in the project location itself. So I just simply pass this and I end it with the statement. Now the next step would be to get the To create the new object of the web driver. So it's web driver driver equal to new Merante driver. After this I need to get the URL first of all. 
so what I'll do is let me open up my Firefox so here's my Firefox I navigate down to the website that is tutorialspoint.com and then I need the automation practice form right so what I'll do is I'll get fetch this or you know copy this URL and simply paste this URL into my get so I write driver dot get and in the get I pass this URL like this so on to this particular URL now my task should be that I need to enter something you know like okay so what I'll do is uh, into the name field I will mention I will write something and then take a screenshot with you know just to test it yes you know I'm able to write in it so I would be ident the identifier or the locator would be the name so now let me get started and you know uh, start working on this one so what should be the basic step yes I need to first get the web element so web element I say it as f name equal to yes driver dot find element and here I write it as by dot in the name I simply paste the name that is there that I copied it from the web from the web page so I first need to clear this one and I secondly I need to send keys in the send keys I am passing it as uh, tu tu tutorial right now I'll again take a similar functionality for my last name I need to check that you know what was the ID given to it so the ID is last name guys you need to make sure that you know you are passing the exact uh, elements locator because if there is any you know error or in any spelling error or anything like that into the locator then you then the web driver won't be able to identify the locator that you wish to mention and it would give you an element not found uh, yeah, or no such element exception right so I again need to clear this one and then I need to send keys and the send keys I am passing it as points cool very simple very basic thing that we are doing over here and now comes the you know, the main part that we want to do right so what I'll do is I'll simply take it as a file I'll take a new file, I'll name, I'll you know, take the object as screenshot. In this file, you know, I would use the driver's capability to take a screenshot by typecasting it to a driver, get screenshot as, this is a function available in the web driver, and I'm mentioning it as, I want the output for this particular type as file so now what we will do is after this one now I will use my Java's file utility to what copy the file so what was that file this particular screenshot file and the destination so I'm mentioning it as new file and where I want to have it so I'm actually keeping it in my project itself the reason for doing this is to make sure that you know I'm mentioning the exact uh, name and after this one it, it gave me an error to you know handle the IO exception I'm going to dethrone it otherwise uh, we can catch this exception using the try catch block also right so now I run this particular case and see that you know if I if I have I have been able to successfully take a screenshot so now the browser should be running yeah so it is there it's loading the page once the page has loaded it would actually type in the names over there and the screenshot that is there it would be you know available in the capture screenshot uh, project itself so it is it has done its execution now let me refresh my project structure to check that you know have I got the project so here's my screenshot.jpg 
So this is my screenshot that I took, right? Now, if you want, you can even uh, change the name of this particular file. So what I'll do is I'll take a new name equal to, uh, I'm taking it as driver dot get title. Now what I'll do is I'll use this name over here. Now let me see, you know, how it will execute. So the page is loading. We need to wait till the page has loaded up. The execution will stop and then we will check for the screenshot. Yeah, it's running. It will take its time, so we need to be patient till then. Yeah, so it has stopped running. Now let me check if my try is successful or not. A refresh. So Selenium Automation Practice Form. Actually, I haven't mentioned uh, any, what we call, uh, I didn't mention the extensions, that's why it, it were actually missed it. Now, we will try it once again, you know, to, but yes, we can actually, you know, pass the name, the dynamic name over here, and we can use this one to show or to locate our particular image, the screenshot that we have captured. So here's it, it's still running, like it will take few more time. We need to wait till that one. Yeah, so it has done with execution. I refresh my project. So I have got an image and here's it's this one, right? So guys, this was all into our capturing screenshot. Thanks again for tuning in.